Hey guys, Jordan K here. Um, um, this is gonna be a little bit different uh, video for me. Um, so it has to do with kind of games, basic theme of what I do. Uh, but it's gonna focus more on the calculator. Um, many people might not. <laughs> well, I'm sure people know that you can play games on the calculator. But not many people know that you can make your own games. So, um, I don't know. Um, this is my, I have a TI-83 Plus. It's from, like, freshman year, which is, like, almost three years ago. Um, they have, like, you know, newer, better ones, like the TI-84, 84 Silver Edition, 84 Plus, yada, 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 yada. I have a basic. Um, basically, I'll show you. Um, I already made, like... It's 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 basically the same game, and I'm making different levels to it right now. Um, I know uh, last year I was in pre-calc, um, and that was sophomore year, and we learned just like basic programming. So um, I took the liberty of making a couple of my own. Um, these are just some of the basic programs we made in class, some of these, some of them aren't. See, I'm starting to make levels now. Um, we'll just go to like a basic, basically the basic layout. Um, you're in X, um, you use the arrow keys to, you know, move up, down, left, right. Hope you guys can see that all right. And um, you use the alpha mode, stat, and apps button to shoot. You shoot um, right here. I just have it shooting like little, oops, sorry, little like plus signs. Yes, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you know, you're shooting all different directions. Uh, you move, hold it, you move faster. Um, and basically that's it. You can change the character, you know, from to basically whatever you want it to be. Uh, I just chose X so it's something basic and um I don't know, just something different. Um I'll go ahead I guess and show you one level before I explain how I did it. Um oh, um to restart the level or game or whatever. Well, maybe it's not here, but it's in the actual game. Um, you press, I uh, just press clear. I'll show you. Um, let's see. I guess I'll go to level one, maybe basic one. Um, the objective I has is that's that's a python. I was thinking it's gonna be like some, I don't know, in context. It'd be like some, I don't know, ancient rock that you have to destroy, or, you know, whatever. Um, but basically, um, you just have to go around and shoot it. Um, and it opens up a portal, which gets you to the next level, where once you complete, sorry, whatever objective basically the level has, you opens up a portal to the next level. Um, like, uh, like I said before, uh, I was gonna say it, um, enter will take you out of the game where then you can do, you know, your basic math and yada yada. Um, or, like, say I, you know, shot this one. I have actually, um, uh, what's that symbol? I can't think of it right now, but um, it's like the, it, it's not zero, it's, um, it's like the, uh, it's like an angle angle symbol like uh like it's basically the the standard x variable but for angles um i don't know the name of it right now but you know um this one he shoots that um like say i go over here and i press clear it'll reset it back to the beginning resetting everything um this is just basic level one so you can like kind of get used to the controls and you know, play around with it and all that. Um, what you do is go up to the same level with it. Press that to shoot it. You see, a little portal came up. 
which would take you to the next level. Um, or you know you can shoot it from. Oh, sorry, shoot it from the bottom. Portal comes up. It, it doesn't matter where you shoot it from. Look, you shoot it. Um, you know, just just you know, it's not you know your Mario or your Phoenix or your you know Uncle Worm and all of those games, but all those games require a computer in which you program them, program them on the computer and then transfer them over to the calculator. Um, I haven't seen any videos yet or even people talking about you know making their own calculator games but um, you know here's just just my basic one um, like I said I'm making more levels and all of that in like my spare time mostly during class <laughs> but um, yeah um, uh, the thing is you have to kinda know a little bit about basic programming for the calculator um, like I'll, I'll just show you I think what you do is you write the lines of code for the calculator um, I'll just show you basically all the lines of code I have on here um, there's a lot um, if you guys really want you know to kind of get a feel for the game and see how it works and all of that um, I can put these up in a, in a YouTube channel kind of give it a little explanation of you know how you do it and all of that but um I mean it's it's fun not fun in the sense of like you know your halos or call of duties but I mean it, you feel accomplished at the end of the day like I made this game you know um you know so uh see what you can do um you know if you guys want to make a game feel free to leave a comment or a response message with you know your game on there showing you know your lines of code I guess and the uh, more info or you know whatever um, if you guys want like I said before I'll put up these lines of code or better get um, I'll put up the line of code to just the basic game where it's a blank screen and or it's a blank screen and you just kinda go around shooting you know nothing you don't shoot anything really but it, it like if if you go through the lines and you see like okay uh, let's see this is clear home that clears the screen and it outputs you know at R and C it outputs X which is a character you know you can change the character to whatever you like any type of symbol or whatever there is that you want basically um, it, it if you, you basically can go through the lines of code and try to make logic of it yourself or even you know um, or even look up the bring out the old dusty book that came with the calculator um, one thing you will need which is in the book you know that came with the calculator is this map key or key map or whatever you want to call it basically for um, the get key function this lets you basically have inputs for your control but for your game so like um, like I would use it to have when you press the down your character moves down when you press the left button your character moves left and all of that but um yeah uh, if you guys want I can just put these in the I'll come back and if I get enough you know comments on the video I'll just come back and put this into more info um, lines of code you guys can you know copy those directly into your to your you know calculator and play around with them you know edit them and all of that and if you mess up or don't know what you're doing and you make a mistake and delete some part of it and you can always just come back here and check to see what what happened but uh, yeah so um, leave a message and let me know what you do and how you did it and what's the uh, basics of your game and um yeah, see you guys later.